This episode may slightly differ from the regular broadcast you're used to. I typically film the show, but it's been a slight compromise. All right, Bob, this is your, your first go at two wheels on a motorcycle on a racetrack. Huh? What are you feeling, buddy? I'm just momentary. That's all I can say. It's something different. We'll see how it is. What's your goal for the day? To just get more comfortable on a motorcycle at a higher speed than bicycle. You're dealing with a different set of physics. What, what are you most concerned about? Breaking the law, like in the sense of all that flag. Etiquette. Yeah, yeah, track, yeah, track etiquette. etiquette. Good luck, man. Word. McDonald's for lunch. We're, we're having a track day. How do you start this? Trying to teach you how to go racing. Uh, we're a team member down. Kelly's not with us. Culinary expert of team Triple C motorcycle racing. And now we're eating at the worst place you could possibly eat. Taco Bell's better, but as Bob says, what kind of food is it? It's heavy. It's heavy food. You know? I, any fast food you is going to be heavy. I, I mean, we're sidling. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, they don't have a lot of food at NC Bike. Wow, look at those sweet glazed things. I went for the artisan chicken sandwich. Last minute. You know what's not artisan in this car? This chicken sandwich. I got the egg McMuffin. How's that? You know, it's, it's like you know, egg McMuffin. It's just, it's just what it is. It's just gross. We miss you, Kelly. We're gonna start up sessions again. I'm in group one. Mike's in that group. So how are your goals today, man? Yeah. So it's the afternoon. Just had a shitty lunch. Feel like shit, but that's okay. You know, like I said this morning, it was just all about trying to get my confidence back, feel good in my head. It's about going as fast as I can. So I'm gonna lay down some good lap times, see how well I could ride. Just prep for a race tomorrow. How are you feeling, Bob? You feel the the work of the sport. Yeah. You know, I, I've always been a two-wheel person. What's your big takeaway? You gotta work to go fast. It's true, man. If, you know, you gotta work to stay safe, too. Like, it's it's all, maybe, you know, I don't have a lot of motorcycle experience. I have, like, small leader bike, off-road stuff experience and bicycle. First time on a high-powered bike, on a racetrack at speed, and you learn a line, you're just learning a lot of stuff. A lot of sensory. A lot of data flying at you. Yeah, it's cool. It's definitely like... What's your takeaway? Not from the motorcycle or any of that. Your first step towards going racing or just doing a track team. It's, it's probably not what you think it is. You know, it's just... It's, I, I've never done a, a motorsport, really. It's hard to say. Just kind of waking up and yeah. saying, I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's like if you want to do this, you have to do it. That's just, yeah. that's just what it comes down to. Ain't, ain't no half step. But that's it. It's like the first step is... Actually, I'm applying myself to it. But I read that when someone has a big goal, whether it's to go race it, build a house, or whatever it is, it takes three years. Three years from when they say they're first going to do it. Didn't Bill they... say the same thing? Uh, yeah, JMP. Th yeah, that's right. I think that that's true. If you're out there and you want to go racing, you want to spend your weekends doing this, which I recommend, make your list. Look at all these episodes that we've done and little things that you got to learn, little things. That's what matters. Make that three-year thing, make it a two-year thing. You, you might know. be dead in three years. Yeah. So yesterday I stuck to my plan, I didn't coach, just worked on my line. I gotta tell you, I feel a lot better about it. This is like one of those times in life, racing, where being selfish is actually kind of important. You're selfish with your riding, you're gonna ride better, you're gonna be safer around everybody, you're gonna do better, you know, it just sort of cascades from there. I got, I think, two sessions and then my race. It is hot down in North Carolina. Lazy. One more session. Let's talk a little bit about track etiquette. You know, this guy crashed maybe like two feet off. He just started working on his bike. He got red flagged and everybody's got a... It is 101. Every time we go out, give a thumbs up to the corner workers. You're okay. If you're not feeling well, stay on your knee. They'll come get you with an ambulance. If you're okay, leave your bike, get out of the crash zone and go behind the fence. It's not that hard. Standing around their motorcycle. The crash zone. People target fixate on you. Lost really valuable practice time. Because people have really bad track etiquette. Evolve GT, the people we ride with are great. It's awesome. That's why I come out here every weekend. But you know, there's always one, man. Learn the rules of engagement and stick with them, right? Like if you're not safe, nobody's safe. That's it. This is this is a safe sport until you make it not a safe sport. So, the 
which didn't go as I planned, but it was good fun and I learned a lot. But that's okay, I wanted to just let off easy and go rather than wheelie and have me or just lose more spaces. Got through first, great. Got through second, sixth gear and shift into fifth. Turn two, I shift in, and I hold fourth. Through my earplugs in, by 15 bikes. Somehow I wound up in third gear and I couldn't hear, you know, you're hearing everybody's, and I'm not looking down on my dash. Banging it off the rev limit of the whole. So leaned over and go for a shift because that would upset them. I could have carried more speed, lost some spaces, but I thought, let me just, I have five more laps. I clicked out, started passing people. I've been working on turn seven. How to get the most out of turn seven. Flat, just pick it up a little and tuck it back in. All the track, 40, 50, 60 feet. Yeah, I guess lap three. I saw a jet, 78, eight or three quarters of the straight. There's my target. I'm gonna catch him, I'm gonna pass. Eating space up on him. I got in his slips, wide open and, and because of his slip, and I go to break for eight, I'm not stopped. Suddenly it was all off and I just couldn't. I felt like I was going too fast. I went off track a little bit and had for me, like I lost all my positions and couldn't get him. I learned a lot on Really wanted to go over to that trailer over there and rub it in Jay's face, but now I'm gonna go over there and tell him how he beat me fair and square and he doesn't even know because I was behind him. It, uh, it's not how I wanted it to end up. It kinda is, my, my goal for today was just to finish, just to break my, my unlucky streak. Like I could race a bike again, and I did that, and uh, I picked up a lot of data, just not a lot of points, but that's okay, job well done in my book.